hi everyone welcome back to my channel shout out to everyone showing me so much love it does not come unnoticed you guys if you guys have not subscribed please subscribe um i am open for personal readings so if you guys do want to book a reading with me it is first come first serve um i'm leaving everything down below so if you guys have any questions just check the description down below i also have for my toxicas and my toxicos that cannot wait i also have my same day ten dollar um one question one answer via email only for you guys um, same thing with my candle work, first come, first serve, um, especially with the full moon today. I am so excited. I'm strictly doing cleanses and money candles, attraction candles, all that good stuff to make it rain, to, you know, bring in that sugar daddy, be a little sugar baby, sugar mama, whatever, um, to bring in that money, bring in that money, bring in that that little summer romance summer is around the corner i can't believe we're in like mid may like what the shit just flew by shit just flew by so i'm just shuffling the cards real quick and let's see what we got so we did get the three of swords seven of cups two of pentacles and the judgment right so i feel like honestly someone's blaming themselves someone could be homesick um, someone could want forgiveness. This is for sure someone from the past. I feel like this person betrayed you. I feel like you went through a big part of life where you felt depressed, where you felt lonely. Um, like, no one understood your heartbreak. Maybe people thought you were over-exaggerating. Um, it did have to do with a past lover, though. Maybe people were like, you knew how they were, so why are you upset? Why are you surprised? Um that type of energy but i feel like honestly what happened was um you could have lost a friend and a lover or your friend just wasn't there for you and you're like you know what i'm done but long story short i feel like honestly maybe this person acted a certain way in front of your face but once you guys stopped like hanging out or whatever this person was a different person right you could be having a lot of dreams right now too as well but you leaving them you're leaving that in the past like you released that you let that go you forgave yourself you found balance you found happiness and you found joy so now the tables have turned you guys now this person's getting a taste of their own medicine now this person's seeing that you have a lot of options you have a lot of things going for yourself um you know i'm kidding like the energy is you're gonna have a lot of people you're gonna be extremely picky right now heavy libra and um scorpio energy a little bit of taurus pisces cancer capricorn um aquarius i don't know if i said that so heavy aquarius for sure i feel like you're daydreaming a lot though i feel like all your manifestations are coming i feel like you're having dreams of the past people that don't want to let you go as well i feel like this person always had you um in a third party situation they never it was never just you and them and that was always the issue right maybe they thought that you were never gonna find out or that um that you were just gonna kind of i'm getting the energy like this person would do the most and see how much they could get away with or do um what they can and maybe they thought they would that you would never find out maybe they had you blinded you know love is blind you guys you guys cannot tell me that you guys have never been blinded by love because even i have um even spiritual people you guys get blind <laughs> it's funny to say because i feel like some people think that well we will we know everything and we don't sometimes you know but i feel like this partnership really took a loss on you like you're like damn what but i feel like now they're in regret they're missing you they're missing your voice they're missing your touch um the intimacy the calls the hanging out whatever and I feel like now they're frustrated. Now they're daydreaming about you. Now they're being delusional about you, right? Like hella delusional. Like they know you will never fold. <laughs> they know you will never fold is what I'm hearing. I feel like maybe for some of you guys, you guys would Netflix and chill a lot. Or they think that you're Netflixing and chilling with someone else. Maybe when you guys met, um, things happen very fast. So they're like, yep they're gonna be the same person with the next person but i feel like now you're very guarded now you've had time to heal you know your worth and now 
you're just not taking shit from no one, right? You're not taking shit from no one. I feel like right now you're really focused on your peace and your joy and your circle, really protective, very guarded energy. I feel like they know that lovers are coming for sure. Lovers, because you've been patient and you healed and you learned and you healed those wounds and you were patient. You weren't trying to, you know, break up with someone and then... Um, or stop talking to someone and then jump to the next person is what I'm hearing So I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be meeting someone very very soon if you guys have not met them man or woman take the rules how they um, How they fit? Um, and I feel like this person is gonna be very like very caring very nurturing very loving very understanding everything that you wanted Right, and I feel like their karma is seeing you with someone else Their karma is seeing you with someone else. Yep dating having new love having options and they know people want you <laughs> they know people want you i feel like maybe they thought that you guys were soulmates or if you guys were soulmates that now is over the universe was like yep you're done like the even of the thought of you guys being together you guys are not no longer soulmates you guys no longer align this person has left that alignment with you so now you dating you're gonna meet your soulmate you're gonna meet someone very spiritual if you're spiritual yourself let's see what else yeah and they're heavy thinking about you they're gonna be crying they're gonna be missing you i feel like maybe honestly they're talking to people about you i feel like they talk so much about you it's ridiculous and they could even be with someone else right now and they're still talking about you like i'm getting hella narcissistic energy Let's see what we got here. Yeah. I feel like they're trying to um, come up with a message. And it can't be... It can't be like, hey, hey, stranger. Hey, how are you? Because you're like, bitch, get the hell out of here. Or you're, or maybe they're even blocked. Or maybe you're not even going to reply. So I feel like, honestly, if they do message you, it's going to have to be something very emotional, very expressive, very heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It has to be something that you can reply to. I, even if it's a long message, I feel like some of you guys will read it, laugh, and delete it. And I feel like if that doesn't work, <clears throat> they're thinking of even surprising you, leaving something at your door, leaving something at your job, leaving something at your mailbox, even something in person. And you're just going to be like, who the hell? Where was all this energy when we were talking? right but i feel like this person would play a lot of mind games on you they would always be like yeah they're dumb they would take your kindness for a weakness and no you're i feel like you're the type of person when i'm done i'm done they didn't really know the real you they didn't know the bad side of you if that makes sense or like i don't want to say the bad but more like don't piss me off type shit right and i feel like now everything is crumbling down maybe now that they don't have a job i feel like honestly when they were talking to you you were they were on your prime they were on their prime and now they're not and i feel like now they're stalking you they're driving by they could be setting people to drive by trying to find you on social media if they can't or if they haven't or if you haven't blocked they're having other people look you up um, they could be going to psychics to get readings about you to kind of see what's up, like see what's the competition. Let's see if you're with anyone. Let's see if you're happy. Let's see if you'll take them back type shit. They could be very frustrated. I feel like honestly, the truth is going to be coming out very, very soon. If they're talking to anyone, um, they're going to be hitting rock bottom. They're going to be getting karma, legal issues. Their life's just going to be falling apart. I feel like, honestly, they're going to think that you're doing black magic to them, but this is strictly karma. <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I love you guys so much. If you guys do want to book a reading with me or do any services, please check the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.